I'm going to move on now to texturing the floor for my The Last of Us laundromat scene. So this is this is the floor, right? It's a, a long corridor-like room with got the windows on this side and the various uh, assets throughout. So I brought in my plane. I'm just at 1K right now, and we'll get started with this. So I've got some notes here on the side. I'll refer to them just so I can get uh, the values uh, the way I want them to be. So I'm going to start with... Uh, concrete dusty drag that in that should be uh, in everybody's uh, substance painter so we've got that coming in there and I want to make sure that we don't I'm not going to use height or normal yeah, I don't really need metal we got color and roughness here and I can just leave them except I think I'll I'm going to drop the saturation you can you can play with that and decide uh, what you like uh, for that uh, later on all right so that's going to be i'm just going to call that concrete or base or something like that and now we're going to put a pattern on here so create a new fill layer call this pattern and in the pattern i'm going to be using uh, color height and roughness and the height i'm going to set at 0.19 the roughness I'm going to set at 0 0.75 and I'm going to use a dark grayish color sort of well, pretty much like three quarters of the way down there okay so we've got that so far all right so to that we're going to add a black mask and a fill and in the gray scale of the fill I'll be using the tile generator so we click that for tile generator and now we'll get some values in here. I'm going to change the scale to two. All right. And next we're going to change the position 0.48 or so. It's not going to make much of a change. Uh, I'll leave the contrast where it is. I'm going to switch the pattern type to square and pretty much disappear there. Come into pattern, pattern specific I'll use 0.44. But where you'll start seeing a change is when I adjust the scale to 0 0.99. And now you start seeing that we've got some tiles there. And uh, the, the last thing I'm going to do here is down in the luminance. This will make a lot of difference. I'm going to change the luminance variation slash contrast variation to 0 0.45. So now we'll see some variation in the tiles like that. All right. So the next thing we do, we're going to be adding some filters. I'm going to add a filter. I'm going to add a blur filter and I'm going to bring that down to 0.15 so it's just a little little bit of blur on there and we're going to add we're going to break these these lines up now with another filter a blur slope all right so that's going to break it up quite a bit uh, but we're going to switch this to let's switch this blending mode to max you can use min or max it's up to you I'm going to change the intensity divider uh, all the way up to a thousand and the intensity itself to about 20.5 so we'll get this effect here sort of breaking up the tiles so you can experiment with max or min decide which one you prefer I'm going to leave it on there for now and uh, we're going to add a sharpen filter on top of that so scroll down, sharpen. I'm going to leave it at the default of one. So now we're getting this effect. And then you can do, you know, go back and decide if that's too much for you or whatever. But I'm going to be laying a bunch of stuff on top of that. So hopefully that'll look okay to you. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some dirt. So add a fill layer. I'm going to call this dirt or dirt one really. And for this one, we're going to have color and roughness. So I'll click color and not height of roughness. And for the roughness, I'm going to choose about 0 0.68, 0 0.7, somewhere in that area. And this one is going to be a mid-gray color. So I'll just go down to around halfway. All right, so we're going to have that. And I'm going to add a black mask and a fill. And in the grayscale, I'm going to choose, I'm going to just reset that, and I'm going to search for grunge, plaster, painted. It's going to be this last one here. 
All right, grunge plaster painted. Put that in there. And I'm going to choose a balance of 0 0.09, like that, and a contrast of 0 0.29. So we're getting this. And uh, we're going to come over back to here. And we're going to switch this from normal to overlay. And we'll get this dark, smudgy kind of stuff on there. Okay, that's just the first of our dirt layers. Create another fill layer. I'm going to call this Dirt 2. And we're going to go for color and roughness again. So I'll click color and roughness. Roughness uh, is going to be up at about 0 0.7. And the color I'm going to do is sort of a yellowish brown color. So somewhere in between, you know, something like that. Sort of yellowish brown. Okay. Black mask and fill. And in the grayscale, let's use uh, grunge plaster damaged again. Let's use that. Uh, let's change here the scale though to two. Looks odd right now. We'll get that going better. Uh, let's put the balance down at uh, 0 0.18. Okay, and we'll leave the contrast there. Okay, but we're going to uh, use a paint layer here. Let me create a paint layer and come over to brushes and search for dirt and use dirt, dirt one. I can lower the flow a little bit, increase the size and X. And we're gonna paint some of this out. So just leave a little bit, kind of like dried mud, essentially. So just, just go over it like this until you're happy and you know, don't, you just have a little bit of it here and there. Okay, we'll just do something like, like that. Okay, and I'm gonna switch this to overlay as well. Well, I'm going to put it on overlay for the moment because we will be adding some more stuff to that. So as you can see, we want to just, you know, we might want to do that and, 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 then, and then paint out some more. Just have a little bit here and there. Okay, good. Dirt two. All right, we're moving on to a grunge layer. I mean, these, these are all grunges anyhow. You can call it dirt three. I'm going to call it grunge. Why not? Okay, grunge layer here, and now we're gonna use another color, and uh, I could just leave it like that. And, and this one I want to be a more yellowish color. Try that, something lighter than the previous one, it's not much lighter. So we'll just do that. This is a different shade, really. All right, and we're going to add black mask, of course, and fill. And in here, I'm going to use, first of all, I'm going to start with Grunge Map 004. 004. That's going to throw that stuff on there. And let's see. Okay, let's go for a balance of 0 0.36. And we'll leave the contrast. Now hang on. We are going to, we have that so far, but when it's not gonna stay like that. Um, we're going to add another grunge map on top of this one. So another fill, and in the grayscale for this one, it's gonna be grunge map 013. There it is there. And we're gonna leave that at a balance of black. We'll leave it like that, but I'm gonna switch this to subtract. And it's gonna cut away from that one and this I'm going to put on overlay so we're gonna get that so we get these stains almost like oil stains on the ground 
Okay, cool. We're going to have some more stains, though, so call this stains. And let's come in and just do color, and we'll do roughness. But this one, we're going to have a low roughness, about 0 0.3. And uh, we're going to change this color to a brown kind of color. Uh, let's see. Okay, I could try that, but maybe like that. All right, we'll start with that, and I'll add a black mask and a fill. And in here, I'm going to put grunge stain spots. So let's reset that. Grunge stains spots. There it is. Like that. And um, let's see if I try with the scale if you want I might do that I'm, I'm gonna switch this to screen like that but I don't know that I want to do this here I might do that so just so we're getting changes in roughness there okay and oh. So we're almost there. We're almost there on this grungy floor. What I want to do now is I want to simulate some little pebbles uh, strewn about on the floor. Turn this up to 2K. Let's have a look at it there. Okay, so you can do what you want with uh, That's just what I wanted to do, but you may feel differently. All right, so we're going to add some rocks. So I'm going to create a new fill layer, and I'm going to call this rocks. And we're going to use just height for this. And we're going to um, add a black mask and a fill. And in the grayscale, to create the rocks, we're going to use cells 4. To make sure you set the height to 1. And this is what, what we're coming up with. Okay, cells four. We'll come into the properties now. And I'm going to put the balance at 0 0.1. And I'm going to put the contrast at zero. I'm going to scroll down here to the noise parameters. And I'm going to change the scale to something like 120, 121. And now we're starting to get some smaller, some smaller fragments. I'm going to put the disorder to 0 0.54 and I'm going to switch this to pseudo random and I'm going to put this on 4 so you can play around with with this I'm going to leave it at that so let's see if I've got everything I wanted okay we're going to come up here though and change the scale here to 3 and now we're starting to get these little tiny things but there's obviously too many they're all over the place but we do have some variations in shape and size we're going to cut into these a little more using the blur slope filter so let's add the blur slope there and I mean they're not going to look exactly like rocks I'm not going to zoom too much in but hopefully they'll look okay all right so for the blur slope I'm going to put this on min I will change the intensity divider to a thousand and we will put this on about 3.5 and that will notch into them a little bit make them look a little bit more like little pebbles all right, they're still all over the place, so let's do something about that. We're going to add um, another fill, and in the gray scale, we're going to add Grunge Map 007. So let's just reset that. Grunge Map 007, 007, that. Okay, so you see this kind of weird effect, right? Okay, so uh, I'm going to put it, first of all, at a scale of 2. And uh, let's see what values you want. Okay, values of 0 0.73 for the balance. Okay, that's changing things a little bit. And we'll leave the contrast. But I'm going to change this now to subtract. And now I've got little pockets 
of, of pebbles, as you can see, and a lot of them are canceled out. Okay, so we've got that. Subtract. That's good scale of two. Let's just come back here with that there and play with this seed. All right, so you can see them changing a little bit. Okay, cool. And on top of here, let's also add a levels and just squeeze this in. That'll get rid of some and sharpen it up as well. So we just have a few here and there. Okay. And there's, there's my floor. That's what I'm looking for. Now you can go back and tweak the values. This will be very dependent on the lighting. I'm going to switch to Studio 2. Okay. And that's it. All right, so that's what I'm going to be using for uh, my floor. Unless I decide to do a couple of tweaks, I might add some scratches as well. Cool. We'll move on in the next video. Thanks for watching.